just an everyday teacher. I have been teaching subjects on agriculture as an agricultural trainer and instructor for five years before Woody visited my classroom. I'm into this issue of industrial hemp because I think it has a, you know, a myriad of uses as well as an alternative to petroleum products. Everything I'm wearing is, is hemp. The real true hemp issues in my classroom led to my firing. The question is whether or not she was fired for exercise of her First Amendment rights. That's a violation of federal law. Mr. Harrison has been the greatest friend and the greatest fan that I have had in my life throughout this transition. He has been there 100%. He has had my back. I tell you what, he is a true role model for myself and the, and the kids in Kentucky. It should be legalized in Kentucky. Industrial hemp is a crop. It's been grown in 26 international nations, and you can produce over 25,000 products from industrial hemp. Legalization of industrial hemp is a matter of public concern. She had a right to talk about it just like you do, just like I do. I stand for what I believe, and I have character, I have morale, and I have spunk. I've got guts today. Coming up on 27 News First at Noon, a former Kentucky school teacher who lost her job after a controversy involving hemp wins a court battle. Her name first hit the news some seven years ago when she invited actor and hemp activist Woody Harrelson to discuss hemp in her class and ended up losing her job. Back then, Donna Cockrell screamed foul and filed suit. Today, Cockrell and the school district reached a financial settlement to bring that case to a close. Cockrell calls the $70,000 agreement just and fair and something that was long overdue. For the pain I gained. I think both sides came to a, uh, the realization that they could both compromise and they could resolve this without dragging it on any longer. It's been going on for seven years and now was the day, now was the time to stop. Today, I, I, I am victorious. I am a winner. Yeah. So I think it's time for all this hysteria to end and let's get on to what makes sense for the environment, make, makes sense for the farmers, makes sense for the economy. I believe in Kentucky. I'm happy to step out of the way so that the debate doesn't get tainted, but I will keep coming back to Kentucky because I like it here. I like your moonshine. <laughs> <laughs> and I like the people I've met and I like the farmers.